to the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Webster Words. <laughs> Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Hello, story maker. I'm Webster Wordsworth, magical maker of stories. Would you like to make some stories too? One. Two, three... Jackson! Four, Jackson, five, come! I, six, I want to show you something! Seven, shh! Eight, um, nine... What are you doing? I'm counting all the books in the library. I, oh, now, where was I? I've forgotten the... Oh, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. Uh, why are you counting all the no, books in the library? Because I want to know how many there are. Uh, oh. Oh, was that seven or eight? Um, five, I think. Oh, five. Look, how am I meant to count all the books if you keep talking to me all the time? Hmm? <sighs> oh. One, two, three, four. Jackson was a meanie to shout at me. I only wanted to show him the seaside corner. Look, this yellow stuff is supposed to be the sand. Ah, <laughs> there you are, my little jelly jewel. Now, what's all this? A beach in the library? Yeah, yeah, isn't it lovely, Webster? Mm. The children made Did it. They? Yeah, L look at the shells. There are lots and lots of them. And pebbles, too. Yeah, yeah, and Webster, mm. do you know there are so many fish in the sea? There are so many, too many even to count. Mm. Mm. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there's a wonderful book around here that's full of pictures of fish. Aha! Seventeen, eighteen, nine. Ah, so this is where you've been hiding, 20, Jackson, my friend. Twenty one. So, 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 jelly. Fish, 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 fish. Two, ah, here 20. we are. I <laughs> stop, found it. Stop moving the books. Oh, you're making me muddle my counting. And now I don't know what number I got to. And I'm going to have to start all over again. <gasps> One, two, three, I think it's time for a story. Four, yeah. Hey. If we put this book in, we might get a story with lots of fish. Mm, yes. Will you help us to imagine a fish story? Yes, come on. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine, imagine a story. It's called Aquarium. Harry and his mum were on holiday at the seaside. Are there any sharks in the sea, mum? I'm not sure, Harry, but I've had a great idea. After lunch, let's go to the aquarium. I'm sure we'll find out the answer there. It was dark inside the aquarium. 
but after a short while, Harry could see. He was amazed. There were fish everywhere. Later, Harry noticed something going on at one of the big tanks. Mike, the man from the aquarium, was feeding the fish. Harry watched them dart about swimming fast to get their food. Mike asked if Harry would like to have a go at feeding them too. Yes, please, said Harry. Harry thought this would be a good time to ask his question. Are there any sharks in the sea? Mike said that there were. There were even some sharks in the aquarium. Would Harry like to see them? Harry was nervous but excited too. He'd never seen a shark. The tank where they lived was enormous. And there was a special glass tunnel you could walk through to see the fish swimming overhead. Harry looked up. And there, sleek, fast and grey, was a shark. It was beautiful. Look, look. Wow, more sharks. It was amazing. He was so close to them. Harry had seen a lot today. Seagulls, the beach, the sea. He'd even fed some fish. But the best thing of all were the sharks. I like the sharks. Did you, Webster? Oh, very much, yes. <laughs> it's no good. I've given up counting. There are too many books to count. <laughs> oh, what's all this? Uh, it's a pretend seaside. Mm -hmm. I tried to tell you, but you shouted at me. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Jelly. You shouted at Webster, too. Oh, I'm sorry, Webster. Oh, that's all right, Jackson, my friend. No worries. <laughs> but why don't you try counting something else, like, um... um... A fruit! Oh, oh yes. Good yeah. idea, Jelly. <laughs> One, two, three, four. four. Juicy fruits in the hamper <laughs> on the beach <laughs> and apple and a mango, a banana and a peach. Ah. Jelly was hungry and ah, she fancied yeah. a munch so she took the banana yeah, yeah. and ate it for <laughs> her lunch. I love bananas. I and that leaves oh. one, two, three <laughs> juicy fruits <laughs> in the hamper on the beach. A shiny red apple a mango and a peach. Yeah. Along came Webster. He fancied <laughs> a munch, so he took the shiny red apple oh. and <laughs> ate it for his lunch. <laughs> and that leaves one, one two. two juicy fruits mm. in the hamper on the beach, a magnificent <laughs> mango and a yummy-looking peach. Yeah. Along came Jackson, he fancied a munch, yes. so he took the yummy peach and oh. ate it for oh. his lunch! Oh. Yeah. Now there's only a mango left! Oh. We could make a fruity story! Oh, yes, oh. yes, yes, yes let's make a story, Webster, can yes, we? Yes, yes, that would be just right. Oh, I mean, right. <laughs> <laughs> Go, go, mango! <laughs> we need lots of imagination now. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Oh, it's a rainforest story. And it's called The Tree of Life. Deep in the forest, there are stories to tell of froggy, snake, bird, and monkey as well. All kinds of fruit grow on the tree of life. Bananas and figs, pawpaw, coconut and mango. You couldn't want for more. But to taste this wonderful juicy fruit, there's a word you have to know. And when you say it to the tree, the fruit falls down like snow. I'm so hungry. What I need is fruit, ripe and sweet. Tell me, Froggy, what's the word so I can stop and eat? I will tell you. Have no fear. It's a secret word. Let no one else hear. 
fig mango date. Fig mango date. Oh, I really can't wait. Now, Froggy, I must go. Oh, Snake, there is just one more thing you need to know. Before you say that special word, you must not look around or else you'll forget it and there'll be no fruit on the ground. But, oh dear, Snake didn't hear. In his rush to find that fruit, he's got his coils all tangled up in an old and knotted root. Oh, how upsetting. I'll have to tug myself free. Now, what's the password for the tree? Date, fig, go, man? Oh, no, that's not how the word began. Oh. Froggy, Froggy, it's me, Proud Bird. I need my share of special fruit. Froggy, Froggy, what's the word? Fig, mango, date. Ah! Proud Bird flew up into the air and saw Sad Snake. Looked back to stare. And guess what? The password bird used to know. Date, man, fig, go. Oh no! Oh no! Ooh! Froggy! Froggy! Hear my plea! Give me the password for the tree. Fig Mango Date. Fig Mango Date. Thanks, mate. Monkey, remember, don't look round. Of course not, Froggy. The word's safe and sound. Foolish Monkey forgot oh. Frog's advice, looked back at his friend and paid the price. Man, date, fig. Oh. Frog's foolish friends looked so sad. You forgot to follow a simple rule. But you're really not so bad. Fig, mango, date. Bananas, pigs. And much, much more. Everyone's a share. Fig, mango, All the creatures had a fruity feast in the end, didn't they? Yeah. Mm. Be because Froggy magics lots and lots of fruit. Yeah, mm. yeah. Webster, mm. look what I made. Oh, I like your shell face, Jenny. Yeah. It's very smiley. Thank you. <laughs> I would like to make a shell face, but Jelly has used all the shells. Oh, Sorry. This calls for some magic. Oh, wow. <laughs> magic. <laughs> magic. I had a magic bucket. It was empty at first, so I closed my eyes and then said the magic words. Lucky bucket, lucky bucket, lucky bucket. <laughs> oh, ah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> Lots of them. I'm going to make a brilliant shell face with those. <laughs> now, what shall I do with this bucket? I know. Let's make a story with it, Jelly. Oh, yes, Webster. Yeah, yeah. Story bucket, huh? story bucket, story bucket. Story bucket. bucket. <laughs> One bucket for a buckety story. <laughs> now we need lots of imagination. Mm. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. And it's called Magical Blue Cow. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders. Wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was thinking about magic. Mm, I wonder how you become a magician. She's off again, said the other cows. So, Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to a place where I can learn magic, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a sorcerer's castle.
And then they arrived. Ooh, I wonder if a magician lives here. Blue Cow knocked at the door. Come in, Blue Cow. <coughs> Greetings. I am Septimus the Sorcerer. How can I help you? I want to learn magic, please. Oh, it's very hard work. I don't mind hard work. Very well. You can start by filling my magic cauldron with water from the well. Here's a bucket. I'll be back later. And with that, Septimus the Sorcerer vanished. Blue Cow filled the bucket from the well. Oh, a bucket doesn't seem very magical. She poured the water into the cauldron. Oh, it's huge. This is going to take all day. Then she noticed a spell book lying open on the table. Oh, look, a water carrying spell. Just what I need. So Blue Cow said the magic words Aqua Trail. And suddenly the room was full of buckets, Ooh. rushing back and forth, Ooh. bringing water from the well. Oh, now that's more like it. But very quickly, the cauldron was full. Oh, hang on a minute. Water began to spill everywhere. How do you stop this spell? The water got higher and higher. Moo! Soon Blue Cow was swimming. Oh, help, please. <laughs> All at once, everything stopped. The water disappeared, and Septimus the Sorcerer was standing beside her. Oops, sorry, Septimus. Blue Cow, I told you that magic is difficult. Oh, yes, I can see that now. I think I'll leave the magic to you from now on. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a sorceress castle and I did a magic spell. Everyone knows that cows can't do spells. And we know they can't, don't we? <laughs> Poor blue cow. She had too many magic buckets. Yeah, no way. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I finished my face. Oh, I love it, Jackson. Oh, it looks lovely, Jackson. Mm. And just in time, too. <gasps> oh, yes. The children will be here soon. Yes, mm. my little treasures. Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you... Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story bye makers, bye bye for now. Fabulous, Come back and see us soon. <laughs> story bye, story maker. Thanks for helping. Story